welcome back guys. So we're going to continue the stand up paddle board build for my AliExpress Hydrofoil. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to install the track box. So we're going to glue it into the board. I showed you how to make the uh, track box cassette in the previous video. So if you haven't checked out that video, go check that one out if you're interested in how to make a cassette. And also all of my other build videos getting the stand-up paddleboard up until this point. So that includes shaping it, uh, well, making the blank and then shaping it, which leads us now to installing the vent plugs. So I'm gonna put a couple of these guys in. Some leash plugs, I'm gonna put two in this so it's nice and strong. So there's two mount points for a board this size. And that way I can also kind of put like a handle on it if I wanna attach a piece of rope across it. The stand-up paddleboard handle, which is very convenient for carrying a board that is quite wide because the dimensions of this board are quite, well, wide. So it's uh, about 28 inches wide or 28 and a half maybe. To do this, I have some 3D printed templates to help me out. Uh, eventually, I will post these on Thingiverse. So if anyone wants to use these, they can as well. You can print them off yourself. So I'm gonna make a whole other video on uh, 3D printing and surfboard building. Uh, specifically around templates for installing uh, fin boxes, leash plugs, vent plugs, all of that good stuff. For my stand-up paddleboard handle, instead of catting this out in Fusion 360, just never got around to it. So for now, I just took a piece of wood, traced it out, just expanded out the amount so that way I can run my router bushing kit along this to get a perfect template. For installing this but you could also freehand it as well so i'll get to how i do all this here in a second here's the cassette i'm going to show you how to install that leash plugs vent plugs handle that'll be this video let's get into it all right i've already covered this in other videos how these templates work is i use this bushing kit for my router and there's the bit this bushing rides up against the inside of the template and then the router routers it out. I've accounted for the distance between the bit and the outside of the bushing on my templates. And yeah, it works really, really well. You could also make these templates out of wood like I've done for my handle. So if you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can certainly make templates out of wood as well. And then I just need to measure the height of my leash plug and account for the height of the template, which is nine millimeters. And once I get that adjusted, I'll router this out. The height of this leash plug is 14 millimeters, 14 millimeters at nine. So what I've started doing now in more recent builds is after routering out the holes for the leash plugs, vent plugs, I like mixing up a tad bit of epoxy and just sealing the foam before installing 
the leash plugs and vent plugs because that keeps that keeps the resin when we mix it up to glue these in from seeping into the foam so what I'm doing right now is just taping this up so I don't get too much polyurethane glue everywhere when I glue in the cassette because it's got some low spots in here when I was kind of hollowing this out I used some fiberglass cloth that I cut up just to build it up a little bit just to fill in those gaps everything else is pretty level I've checked it because I don't want too much polyurethane glue expanding I want a very solid bond directly to the foam from the cassette all right I'm gonna use polyurethane glue here aka Gorilla Glue if we want to do some branding here this stuff just happens to be LePage, but it'll do the same thing. And then I'm going to pour this in. I'm going to brush the sides here, spritz it with a little bit of water, brush the sides of the brush the sides of the cassette. Got my spritzer. Also, pro tip, to determine where you should mount your sup handle, you should find the center where it balances and then kind of go from there. So right about there is where it balances. And I'm going to put my handle in that spot. So right about there is where it balances because that makes it so much easier when you're carrying the board it's not like flopping forward or back. You should also take into account the um, if it, you're uh, shaping just a sup, the fin location as well, the, the weight of the fin. I've installed the track box in this as well because that has a little bit of weight into it and then I balanced it and then determined this was the spot for the handle. All right, I've switched out my router bit because it's not deep enough with the template to get to all the way to the bottom. So what I have here is a flush trim router bit and it's got a bearing at the top and what it'll do, it'll ride up against what I've already routed out and then it'll router out the bottom portion too. And I've already set the depth to be the same depth as the handle. I'm going to mix up a little bit of epoxy to glue in the plugs and I love using these little syringes to mix up little tiny amounts of resin. It's super accurate and it works really well. Wipe down with some acetone.
sometimes I mix, sometimes I thicken the epoxy for installing these leash plugs and vent plugs with some cabo sill. Uh, so you can do that too if you want it a little thicker. I 3D printed some blocks and I'm going to use these to be able to hold down on the fin box. You could also just cut some out wood out and just do it that way as well. What I'm doing here is I've mixed up some epoxy and I just want to fill this in because it's recessed. And uh, it's the same for the track boxes slash fin boxes and for the leash plugs. And the reason why I'm doing this is because that way when I go to laminate, I'll get a really nice surface to laminate on that isn't recessed. So the fiberglass won't droop in it. A lot of times what happens is if you leave it like that, um, the I the reason why they have it like this is so that you can laminate this in and then the fiberglass goes over it but at the end when you're sanding you sand this open um, some people or some companies what they like to do is to give a really nice clean flush look is they'll laminate over this and then they'll cut this out so it'll be flush so what I did was I routed this down so it's flush with the board and now I'm just filling in this extra little bit, this recessed amount, because it makes it a lot easier when I'm laminating to get that nice fiberglass to be level all the way across, and then I'm going to use um, a flush trim bit to cut this out. So that should be pretty good. When I look at it now, yeah, looks pretty good. Well, that should end it for this video. I've installed the cassette track boxes, installed the leash plugs, the vent plugs, the handle for the stand-up paddle board. Uh, yeah, so that should about do it for this video. I've been keeping track of the time, uh, the amount of hours that I put into each build section of this board. And this one took five and a half hours to do all of that.
Now that might sound like a lot of time, but that's because I had to make the cassette box, I had to mess around with this, this is a little new to me. But you know, if you're just installing like uh, leash plugs, vent plugs, maybe the handle and just some fin boxes, it certainly wouldn't take nearly as long because those are much simpler to install. But the cassette did add some time to this. So to recap a little bit about the cassette, I'm thinking that the cassette should be nice and strong. I've already done this on my prone board before, although I had more of like an I-beam structure, it went all the way through the board. But because this foam is much denser, I'm gonna put enough layers of glass when I glass this, I think I should be fine. The purpose of the cassette is to distribute the stress of the foil that tra gets transferred into the board uh, or into the, into the track boxes, then into the cassette out to the uh, softer foam. So that kind of distributes out all of that uh, stress. I think it should work fine. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think my solution here, because I couldn't find poor foam, will work, uh, should work really well. Okay, next video, I'm gonna be sealing the board and I'm gonna do the fabric inlay on this stand-up paddle board. I think I'm gonna do a fabric inlay on the bottom of the board and I'm gonna leave the deck of the board um, just plain because I am putting an EVA mat on that that I ordered from AliExpress. So uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.